My God, you are good. My God, you are good. My God, you are good. You are good to me. You are good. Hallelujah, Jehovah. You are good. Jehovah, you are good. Jehovah, you are good. You are good to us. You are good. Hallelujah, O oh Lord. You are good. Jehovah, you are good. El Shaddai, you are good. You are good to us. You are good. We we praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. We we praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Ah, we we praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. We we praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Unchangeable, unchangeable God, unchangeable God, unchangeable, unchangeable God, dependable God, dependable, dependable God, dependable God, dependable, dependable God. Almighty Father, unchangeable, unchangeable God, unchangeable God, unchangeable, unchangeable God, unchangeable God, our Lord who was, who is, and who is to come, everlasting Father, the Holy One, the righteous. And the powerful God, the great God, the I am that I am, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the everlasting Father, the King of Kings, the Prince of Peace, and the Lord of Lords. Father, we return all glory back to you because of who you are. Accept our thanks in all situations. We return all glory back to your holy name. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Merciful God, we know we have sinned against you. We have come to of your glory. Father, forgive us in the name of Jesus. Wash away all our sins and create in us, O God. Let every strength power, let every demonic agenda, let every unclean spirit be defeated right now by your power in the name of Jesus. I want you to lift up your voice and say, say, power of God, contend with strength powers in my life, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, power of God, Jesus Christ, Son of living God, contend with all the strangers in my life, in the mighty name of Jesus. Strength powers in my life, strength gods around me, strength attackers. Oh, God, my Father, contend with them, contend with them, contend with strength gods, contend with strength powers, contend with unclean spirit in my life, in my home, in my children's life, in the name of Jesus. Oh, put your mouth and pray. Say, oh God, my father, contend with all the strange strangers in my life, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, my father, contend with all the strangers in my life, in my home, around me. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Say, powers, declaring war against me at night. Powers declaring war against my family at night. I defeat you by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. I defeat you. Any power, any spirit, any authority waging war against me at night, declaring war against me, my family at night. I overcome you. I defeat you by the power in the name of Jesus. I overcome you. I defeat you by the power in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Begin to shout the blood of Jesus. Plead the blood upon yourself, upon your family, upon your home, upon your environment. Say, I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus upon myself, upon my family, upon my children, upon my environment. I plead the blood, the blood of Jesus. I soak my environment. I soak my life in the blood of Jesus. I soak my territory. I soak everything about me in the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Say, I cover myself with the fire of the Holy Ghost. 
I cover myself. I incubate my life. Incubate my family. I incubate my environment with Holy Ghost fire. Oh God, my Father, incubate me with the fire of the Holy Ghost. Incubate me with Holy Ghost fire. Incubate me with your fire. With your fire. With your fire. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. It says, fire of the enemies. Fire of the enemies. Burning me day and night, be swallowed up by the fire of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Thou fire of the enemies, thou fire of the wicked elders, thou fire of the abbeys, thou fire of the evil priests, burning in my life day and night. Fire of God, swallow them all. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus, oh fire of God, swallow the fire of the enemies all. Fire of God, swallow them up, swallow them up, swallow them up. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Say, any man born of a woman, anyone born of a woman, setting up dangerous altars in order to afflict me, anyone born of a woman, consulting the abbalists in order to destroy me, anyone born of a woman, Taking my name to fake prophet, you are a liar. Da, 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 da in the name of Jesus. Anyone born of a woman, anyone born of a woman, setting up evil altars against me, consulting the abbey because of me, taking my name to the occultic cover, you are a liar. Da, 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 whosoever is taking my name, taking my children's name, taking my family's name to any altar. I command you to die, 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 to die. I command them to die. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Say, Holy Ghost, born ahead of me and make my way straight. Holy Ghost, born ahead of me and make my way straight. Holy Ghost, born ahead of me, born ahead of my children, born ahead of my wife and make our way straight. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost, born ahead of us, born ahead of us and make our way straight. Holy Ghost, born ahead of us and make our way straight. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Everlasting Father, we thank you. We give our life, we bless and we exalt your holy name. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Father, we cannot stop praising you because of who you are. You are the everlasting Father. You are the one who was, who is, and who is to come. You are our maker. You are our friend. You are our redeemer. Father, accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Lord, we surrender all to you tonight. Visit us. Dwell among us. Release your power upon us. And let darkness be put to shame. Lay your hand of power upon every soul that will be here tonight. And those that will be listening to this broadcast in future. In the name of Jesus. Lord, by the authority in your name, we silence and we disband every contrary spirit, every marine power, every power contrary to the power of God. We destroy them right now in the name of Jesus. Father, I surrender myself before you. Whatever is in me that will make me Lord to speak heresy or to speak with the enticing words of man. Father, purge me tonight. Remove me and make me Lord a new vessel in Christ Jesus. Use me, Lord, tonight to speak the word of life, the word of truth, and the word that will depopulate the kingdom of darkness and will populate your own kingdom. Holy Ghost, I surrender out to you. Let your fire, let your fire be in me. And let the words that will come out of my mouth, let it carry authority and power in the name of Jesus. Let every chains be broken tonight. Let every prison doors be broken tonight. Let every infirmities be healed tonight. And let every arrows fired against us backfire tonight in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed and received. Amen, amen, amen in Jesus' name. I welcome you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ for another time in His presence. My prayer to God Almighty is for God to teach us His words in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. To the glory of God, we shall be looking at what the Lord has given us tonight, which is learning and not understanding the truth. Learning and not understanding the truth. In 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 7, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 7, the Bible says, Ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. 
In John chapter 3, from verse 1 to 7, the Bible says in John chapter 3, from verse 1 to 7, there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God, for no man can do these miracles that thou doest, except God be with him. Jesus, Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I said unto thee, Ye must be born again. Praise the Lord. Nicodemus came to Jesus to learn. But Nicodemus had no understanding of what Jesus Christ was teaching about. He tells you and I in this present age that many believers are reading the Bible, many believers are studying the Bible, but they have no understanding of the power and the truth in the Bible. It explains to you and I why we have so many spiritual casualties in the bodies of Christ. Why we have so many people being driven about by the waves of miracles is because they learn the Bible and they have no understanding of the power therein or the knowledge therein. In John chapter 6, verse 63, John chapter 6, verse 63, the Bible says, It is the Spirit that quickens it. The flesh profited nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. The word of God, the Bible, is not the word of flesh. It is the word of spirit. And for understanding of the Bible to take place, a man or woman needs spiritual mind. John chapter 6, verse 63. We need spiritual mind. To understand spiritual things. It explained to you and I, beloved, that the reason why we have so many quarrels, so many fights, so many problems in the bodies of Christ is because people that are teachers of the word of God, they are not filled spiritually. And they are teaching the word of the Spirit with carnal mind. That's why people are getting the wrong interpretation of the Bible. They are learning the Bible, but they are not getting the power they are in. They are not operating in the power they are in. Why? Because they are yet to understand the spiritual interpretation of the Bible. The Word of God can only be understood by spirit-filled mind. So there is no way you can have understanding of the Bible if you are not filled with the Holy Spirit. Learning and not understanding the truth. You can be in the church for many years without having understanding of the Word of God. <clears throat> People are learning and reading the Bible without having a clue of what the Bible is saying. People are lacking understanding of who Jesus is. They are learning the Bible, but they lack understanding of who Jesus is. People lack understanding of God's instructions. They are reading, but they don't understand God's instructions. People are lacking spiritual warfare. Many don't understand what it means to engage in spiritual warfare. Many still don't believe that the battles we are fighting, they are beyond what ordinary eyes could comprehend. Many are lacking what is called spiritual weapons. The reason why people don't understand all this is because they are yet to get the Holy Ghost into their lives. 
Many people are lacking spiritual weapons. When you tell them that there is power in the blood of Jesus, there is power in calling the name of God. There is power in sending arrows back to send that. There is power in the tongue. Many still don't believe. There is power in your own personal encounter with God when you pray. They still don't believe. Many are lacking demonic activities. People don't understand that there are demonic activities going on around them. They are, they are reading about demonic powers in the Bible, but they have no understanding of how demonic activities are taking place. People are studying, but they have no understanding of what heaven and hell is all about. People are learning, but they have no understanding of the power of prayer. People are learning, but they have no understanding of the power of corporate fellowship. People are learning and they have no understanding of the power of living a holy life and a righteous life, a holy and a very righteous life. They have no understanding of it. People are learning and they have no understanding of the consequences of unforgiveness. They are learning. They are in the church, but they don't know the consequences of unforgiveness. People are learning and they have no understanding of the consequences of living in sin. People are learning and they have no understanding of foundational, environmental and territorial powers. People are learning about people and they don't understand how people are. The people that you are saying, they are not the real people. The real people is unseen. The real self of any man is unseen. You can learn, oh, this one is my friend. We laugh together. But you don't know whether that person is really what he or she is portraying to be. The reason why so many people are falling into diverse kinds of errors is because we take people based on their face value. We have forgotten that there are deep things. There are invisible characters. There are invisible powers that a man can be carrying about. And the man will be showing you something different in the physical. Someone can be laughing with you in the day. And the nighttime can be your worst enemy in the realm of the spirit. You can be learning, oh, this person cannot be my enemy. You are learning, but you have no understanding of what the person can do to you spiritually. Many people are learning about marriages, but they have no understanding of what marriage is all about. Marriage is not just about putting rings in your hands. It's deeper than that. You can marry a killer. You can marry a destiny waster. You can marry someone that will lock up one's destiny for life if you have no understanding. The mere fact that somebody is laughing with you and showering you with gifts does not mean the person is who he or she called himself to be or herself to be. People are learning, but they have no understanding of what is called family battles. There are people in your family that they are your worst enemies, but openly they laugh with you. But in the realm of the spirit, they are holding acts and cutting you down day by day. People are learning and they have no understanding of the church. They think all the people that come to church, they are, they, they are the saints. No. No. That is why the devil is now taking advantage of the church. When the believers are believing that ah, all the people in the church, because they are saying, brother, sister, I love you, uh, they, 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 they are saints. They are not saints. Devil too has now changed. The angel of darkness has now changed to be the angel of light and now operating in the church. So learning and not understanding the dynamics of the spirituality of the church. People are learning. And they have no understanding of the words they speak. You just speak to yourself anyhow. You pronounce curses. You pronounce words negatively upon yourself, upon the works of your hands, upon everything. And when those things are now bringing forth harvest, 
and I start pointing fingers at people. This one is the one behind my problem. No. Ever learning and not understanding the truth. Tonight is the night to ask God for divine understanding. Don't just approach life with carnal mind. We need to ask God, Lord, take my mind to another level whereby I can see what you want me to see. Open my understanding into another realm that I can understand what you want me to understand. We need understanding at all times, beloved. While driving, you need to be praying, oh Lord, give me understanding of what will happen today. Give me understanding of where I'm going. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7, Proverbs 4, 7, Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy gettings, get understanding. Wisdom, the Bible called wisdom the principal thing. Say, in all thy gettings, therefore get wisdom. But in all thy gettings, get understanding. We need divine understanding to know who are who are within your environment. You need to have understanding of your dreams, understanding of the power of the night, understanding of your environment, understanding of people you call friends, understanding of your foundation, understanding of what took place when you were born, understanding of the marriage you are in, understanding of your environment, understanding of everything. So that you don't fall into the hands of the enemies. Right there where you are. Ask God. Say, Lord, give me understanding. In all that I get is, get understanding. If you get understanding, you will not follow fake prophets. If you have understanding, you will not subscribe to the devil. You will not subscribe to all the devices of the devil. If you have understanding, you will not fall into the trap of the wicked. If you have understanding, you will not join your money with destroyers. If you have understanding, you will not be putting on wrong clothing. If you have understanding, you will not be putting your money in wrong businesses. If you have understanding, you will know when to pray and how to pray. Many are learning. They are reading the Bible, but they have no understanding of what the Bible is saying to us. The Bible is the manual. The Bible is the compass. The Bible is the only word that God has given to us to win battles, to give us understanding, and to open our eyes. Right there where you are. Say, oh Lord, my Father, give me divine understanding in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, tonight I pray for divine understanding. Give me divine understanding. Give me, oh Lord, divine understanding in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Say, cloud of darkness around me. Cloud of darkness around my family. Cloud of darkness around my dream life. Clear away in the name of Jesus. Every cloud of darkness around me, around my family, around my dream life. Clear away. Cloud of darkness. Clear away. Clear away. Clear away. Clear away. Thou cloud of darkness around me, around my family. I say clear away. I say clear away. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Say spiritual cataract upon my life be destroyed in the name of Jesus every spiritual cataract upon my life, upon my eyes be destroyed by fire be destroyed by fire, spiritual cataract upon my eyes, upon the eyes of my children, upon the eyes of my family, be destroyed be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed be destroyed, in Jesus name we are praying, say power of the night hiding in my bedroom Power of the night, hiding in my home, wherever you are, come out, da, come out, da, come out, da, come out, da. Power of the night, hiding in my bedroom, hiding in my home, wherever you are, out, da, out, da, out, da, out, da, out, da, out, da. In Jesus.
Jesus' name, it is done. Say, I shall not be ignorant of the devices of the enemies. In the name of Jesus, oh God, my Father, oh God, my Father, help me, Lord, not to be ignorant of the devices of the enemies. My children, my wife, my family, we shall not be ignorant of the devices of the enemies. I shall not be ignorant of the devices of the enemies. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Say, my Father. Give me power over spiritual ignorance. Give me power, O oh Lord, over spiritual ignorance. Give me power. Give me power over spiritual ignorance. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, my Father, give me power. Give my children power. Give my wife power. Give my married power. Give us power, O oh Lord, over spiritual ignorance. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Lastly, say, O oh Lord, my Father, teach me yourself daily. When the Lord is the one teaching you, you will not fall into wrong teachings. You will not fall into the hands of the magicians that are manipulating the Bibles in your hands. You will pray like this. Oh Lord, my Father, daily teach me your word. Oh Lord God, my Father, I pray the daily teach me your word. Oh Lord, teach me your Lord. Teach me your word. Every day, teach me your word. Teach me your word. Teach me your word. Teach me your word. Teach my children your word. Teach my wife your word. Teach my family your word. Every source on this platform. Oh Lord, teach us, oh God. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Great and mighty Father, we thank you. We bless and we worship your name because you are the great teacher. Father, tonight, we need understanding. Give us understanding in the name of Jesus. We want to learn and we need understanding. Father, teach us and let us understand in the name of Jesus. Every wrong teachings in our lives, every wrong understanding in our lives, every wrong interpretation of the Bible in our lives, Holy Ghost, purge our lives and flush them out. Purge our lives and flush them out. Purge our lives and flush them out in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, we need you. In our dreams, we need you. In our homes, we need you. Holy Ghost, by the power of God, incubate us and fight every darkness around us in the name of Jesus. Anyone around us representing the devil, anyone around us that has been commissioned by the devil to harm us, Father, open our understanding and defeat them for us in the name of Jesus. We cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. And with the fire of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' mighty name, we have received understanding. Amen, amen, amen in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. I want to congratulate you for what the Lord has done in your life. The Lord God has given you a new heart of learning and a new heart of understanding. If the teaching is a blessing to you, beloved, share the good news. We have other teachings on YouTube, on the Reality Christian Center channel. Also on our website, www.thepathofrighteousness.com. We meet every day, 6 p.m. Irish time till half 6. Join us every day, invite your friends to come and learn the truth. The Bible says, Thou shalt know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Every day, the Lord is speaking to you and I. And the words that God is speaking to us, we empower us and we give us strength not to fall by the wayside in the name of Jesus. Till we meet tomorrow, remember that you and I are sons and daughters of the Most High God, created in the image of God and endowed with power. To have dominion over everything that God made. Let's share the grace in fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Seven powerful. Hallelujah. Let's go. Hallelujah. 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 God bless you all and have a blessed evening. Bye.